We want to talk about some hedge funds here, and we know we don't know up to date what these guys hold, but if you take a look at the 13F filings, we can get a sense for what they were in and sort of what might have happened. So uh, Wallet Hub put out a really interesting report looking at the Q2 holdings of hedge funds. The biggest holdings, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Alphabet. Which stocks got crushed yesterday? Microsoft, Amazon, <laughs> Apple, Facebook. And we're talking Netflix, about, you know, yeah. five, six percent declines in one day for these tech behemoths, and that really affects the point states and the drunken millers of the world who are actually big in the Facebooks or, uh, you know, you have to think David Tepper actually cut stakes in Facebook and Alphabet but boosted stakes in Micron, which also fell. So you, you have to start thinking that, you know, how is this going to rearrange the landscape when a lot of these big hedge funds also piled into the hottest trade of the year, which has been the big tech yeah, you want to bet that there's at least one of them got smart and went short and is going to make it like a bandit? Maybe there's one of always them did. One there's always one victor out of this, you know? <laughs> always. Although, you know, you, you would have said, oh, this would have been a great time for Soros and Paulson because they like yeah. gold, yet mm -mm, not that's so not necessarily going to help you. It might have been a great time for Bridgewater because they did increase their shares in the gold ETF and they cut their stake in the S&P 500 uh, ETF trust. So they did seem to be uh, positioned in a pos potentially more profitable uh, way than, say, Harvard's endowment, which took a new stake in Facebook, which seemed to be a little bit oh, of a problem because it was down another 4% after a lot of losses already.